Hello and welcome to the first edition of Two Eagles. My guest today is Sean LaForest. Pound it. Sean, Peter, Jansen, LaForest. I grew up in Ontario and Jansen name is not very common. So we were like, we need to protect that name and keep it going. And then I came out here and everybody's named Jansen. Married? Yep. Happily married. 13? Children. Check. We have three of those. That one I do know. Favorite color? Silver color? I like silver. Favorite 9 p.m. or later snack? I have two. One would either be tonight dough. It's like an ice cream. Mm. Or just like cheese. I like, I love cheese. Cheese is my thing. So I'll just cut off a slice of cheese and eat it. Which type of cheese? Aged cheddar. Do you like blue cheese? No. No one does. Do you? One hobby. So we have like about one, a one acre food forest, I call it. If you could travel and stay someplace for a month. Maui. Have you been? I've been. And I, it's just, it's just amazing. I don't know how to describe it. If you could have lunch with someone famous. Warren Buffett. He started, you know, with a paper road at 12, 13 years old or something like that. Now one of the richest men in the world, though he still lives in, in this, you know, four bedroom house. Something surprising about you. I got lots of surprising things up my sleeve, but <laughs> one of them, I, I actually figure skated for seven years when I was a kid. What makes you happy? Cheese. <laughs> you know the sun. I like. I feel like this. I I'm, I'm, I almost wonder if I have some seasonal affective disorder because I am just so happy and things are so much better when the sun's out. We should pause here. So a good uh, twenty-five dollar to Starbucks if you're watching. Direct message at head of schools. Yep. The answer to this question: What's surprising about Mr. LaForest? That's a decent prize. Can please. I enter? I, I think not. What makes you sad? Hmm. The rain. <laughs> I spend a lot of time outside too. So if it's pouring rain and stuff, it means I can't do the gardening. I can't take the dogs. We are huge hikers. How long have you been at MEI? This is my 11th year. What's your job? I'm principal. How's that feel? I think I think the one thing I realized too is just how much um, we have a phenomenal team and just how much it is that kind of co-leading. I have seen your TOC tag for the public school district. Why MEI? Because I already could find places where it was difficult to integrate my faith into, into teaching. I was like, what a different world that would be where you can just come and be open and pray with kids and teach them about God. You know, having that outlook too, that we're not gonna all be academic powerhouses or athletic powerhouses, but you know, we're gonna be raising citizens that go out there and are helping the community in some way, shape or form. What helped you through the challenges of the past year? <laughs> it's been a year. I'd probably say the community, like we've kept the doors here at MEI open, being able to like, you know, be present with staff. Even this morning we had prayer as a staff. That community piece, I'm not able to get that really in church right now. And so that'd be really tough if I didn't have mm. school. Oh, do you have a question for me? One of the most difficult parts of your job as like bald head of schools, what would that be? <laughs> I don't know, I was thinking about bald eagles. Have you thought about changing the name to like bolt, like combining it? Yeah, another $25? Yeah, let's do it. Starbucks? So the question is, what's Mr. LaForest's suggestion for my new job title? Thanks, Sean, appreciate well, your- Thank you. Awesome, and thank you. We'll be back probably next week with another Two Eagles. Thanks everyone.